If you guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new video. So I have just released the brand new objectives. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get these two objectives as fast as possible. I'll also be looking at both of their cards as well to see if they're very usable, to see if they're not going to be SBC fodder or not. Last week's objectives were very, very good. Sabitza especially was honestly one of the best objectives this whole FIFA in my opinion. If you've used Sabitza... Like, there's no way you don't like him. He's so sick. So, just before we do start as well, if you could drop a like, I'd appreciate that. Drop sub if you're new. Um, these are main, mainly going to be, like, little tips and tricks of how to get it as fast as possible. There's not really any glitches like last FIFA, um, but just tips. We're going to be trying to, like, clump them together, together, if you get me, so we can do a couple together and stuff like that. I do recommend as well, write down on your notes, maybe on your phone or something like that. I do it on my PC, um, just so you remember the objectives. Apologies about the notifications here yeah, tweeting out. There's an Allen as well. I want to have a look at the Allen at the end as well. So for the first player, anyway, we've got a 92 centre forward Brazilian. So he's going to be very nice for SBCs. Um, so let's jump into him. So score two goals in two separate rival matches using Brazilian forwards with at least six Serie A players in your starting squad. Okay, so we're going to need a Brazilian forward from the Serie A. We'll have a look for that afterwards, but I'll keep that in mind. So we need to score two goals using a Brazilian forward. So you could still use like a Neymar, maybe if you've got Neymar. Um, but as long as you've got Serie A defenders, maybe, and maybe like a couple of midfielders, uh, you need at least six Serie A players. Okay. Score a finesse goal in three separate rival matches using Brazilian Brazilian players. So obviously, you can match them two together. Happy days. Um, it will be a lot easier if you've got better Brazilians. If you've not got the best of Brazilian, what you could do is you could put training cards on them. Uh, maybe if, if you've got like plus 10 shooting, plus 10 dribbling, uh, you can use that in rivals. And uh, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. It makes your terrible players a lot better. So I do recommend doing that. Uh, for the next one, assist with a through ball in four separate rival, uh, four separate rival matches using players with min four star skills. Um, again, Neymar fits the, fits the sheet. I mean, there's a lot of Brazilian forwards. For some reason, my head has gone blank. Um, maybe Willian for Chelsea, um, 82. He's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's actually pretty good as well. He's 82, he's actually still pretty decent. Um, he could do the job. I might actually use him. Uh, I might have some better Brazilians. I do. I have one to watch Coutinho. I, again, I forgot. Uh, but he, he fits the first three. I hate doing through balls. I don't know about you guys. I rarely through ball it. Um, I'm, I'm a like past, past the feet kind of player. I, I hate through balls. Um, I hate last week's through ball one. It's just too RNG, I feel like, almost. Um, and it's hard to get in behind with through balls this FIFA, especially with everyone sitting back. Um, so I hate that objective. Um, into the last one, score and assist in eight separate rival wins using Serie A players with min four star weak foot. So I wonder if there's a four star weak foot, four star skill move minimum Brazilian player. So I'll have a look at that in a second. Um, but that one's very simple. Um, very, very easy. So let's move into Boga, the Chelsea guy. Hopefully Chelsea sign him back. We have got like a 20 mil buyback clause. Uh, so maybe we'll see him back in a Chelsea shirt. But I've heard a lot about this guy. He's very good in real life apparently. Not seen him uh, play for a while though. So assist in four separate squad battle matches or rivals. Uh, using players with max three star skill moves and max three star weak foot. Okay, so that's very specific. Uh, but that's just any player in the game. It doesn't need to be Syria. So that, that's fairly easy. Um, a three star, three star player. Off the top of my head, I can't really think. Uh, but I'm sure you guys will uh, think think of someone. Um, score an outside the box goal in two separate score battles or rivals. That's just with any player. So again, that's very easy. You can use anyone for that. Sabitza might be quite good for that as well because he's got good outside the box shots. Uh, but at the same time, you want to try and clump all these together. So get your six Serie A tip players. And uh, maybe if you've got a decent Serie A long shot taker, happy days. Um, assist with a cross in two separate squad battle matches or rivals using Syria midfielders with min three star skills just with a cross in two okay so that's not too bad using the Syria midfielders with three star skill moves okay that's not too bad at least it's not the same as last week like assist two in assist two crossing in the same game which was insane um so that's not too bad assisting one cross is not too bad with a midfielder okay um and score and assist in six separate uh, rivals using and Ivorian. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly have a look at concept. I want to have a look at Bogus card actually. Uh, hopefully, the servers aren't too bad. Uh, the servers haven't been too bad last few weeks, last few Fridays, because previously you could barely get on the game. 
Uh, so let me have a quick look at Bogus card because I've got a feeling. But let me t type in Serie A Brazilian first. I want to have a look. Just to see if we can do this fast. See if there's any good attackers. This Allen has dropped, by the way. We'll have a look at him soon. Um, so he's actually four star, four star. I'll have a look at his card at the end because I just want to. I just want to see who fits the bill. Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa is one one that fits the bill. Um, you've got to make him a left wing though. Make sure he's not a left mid because if he's a left mid, then he, he counts as the left uh, as a midfielder, obviously. Um, make sure he's a left wing. Uh, is there any other Brazilians? You could just use Douglas Costa. He's more than good enough. I know his finishing's not the best, but he's more than good enough. So use du uh, Douglas Costa. I'll definitely use Douglas Costa for him uh, for that for a lot of the objectives because he he fills out for a lot of them. And then Ivory Coast is there an Ivory? Oh, okay. If you done Javinho, if you did Javinho, if you're outrageous enough, like this guy was an absolute rip off. I think it was like 150k or something uh, for a three star, three star guy. But if you did him. Um, you need a three star, three star Serie A. Ivory Coast. He fills out a lot of the uh, requirements. So if you've done Javinio, happy days. If you haven't done Javinio, though, his normal card does the job as well. Please, Kessie. Please. I, I love Kessie. I, I, I loved Kessie last FIFA. Uh, Boga's normal card. What was. Well, that's SPC fodder already. Uh, his normal card's got three star, three star. Uh, so if you're in a low division, he has got 56 stamina. You might have to sub him on. Uh, but if you're wild enough to use this guy for an Ivory Coast player, uh, maybe use him. <laughs> He's not going to be the best. Five foot nine. Right, let's have a look at the review anyway. If you've got any um, questions about them tips, by the way, do let me know. Usually I have a few more tips, but honestly, this week, the, the, the requirements are very easy, to be fair. Um, I think it's mainly because they're giving us players that most people will be putting these into SPCs, let's be honest. It's a shame, man. Um, five foot nine, high low, right footed, three star, three star. Let me have a look outside the three star, three star. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. This card is the, the stats that absolutely kill this card, man. It's such a shame because I'd love to use this boga, like seriously as well. Um, insane agility and balance is going to turn insane. Being five foot nine, low center of gravity. Uh, this guy is going to turn unbelievably. Unbelievably, very fast as well. Finishing's decent, passing's okay. The stamina, the composure. What's his trait? Like finish shot trait, not too bad. But the the stamina, the composure, and the three star, three star. There's just too many big factors that's just wrong. Um, but I mean, if you don't care about three star, three star, you want to sub him off in the 60th minute. And his composure. To be fair, I think composure. His reactions are a little bit low as well. You can boost it with a sniper, but. I don't know, composure. After using Kynes, I don't know if you guys have used Shapeshifter Kynes, he's got 71 composure, and the guy finishes everything. Um, which I just don't understand, because he's got terrible composure. So, whether or not the composure matters too much, I'm not too sure. Uh, but jumping into the next guy, it's called Joao... It's called Joao Pedro or something? I think he's normal cards of 76. Is this him? Yeah, it is. Okay, so he, he was 4 star, 4 star, 6 foot, high medium, right footed. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you like like a target man, I think this guy's going to be more of like a sort of a target man. Um, he looks okay though. 4 star, 4 star, 6 foot, high medium. Fairly fast, very good finishing, very good passing. Decent is dribbling. You're going to need an engine probably. Yeah, an engine would be perfect. It actually looks like a solid card to be fair. It really does. Finesse shot trait as well. Overall a solid card. It's not my kind of striker because I like a an agile kind of striker that's going to turn really nice. Um, I imagine he'll have like a, an average body type at least, at the very least. Uh, so he's not going to turn the best, but if you like like a Lewandowski, he's going to be almost like a Lewandowski's normal card. If you've used Lewandowski's normal card, uh, it might be a little bit better though, because he's got probably better dribbling stats than Lewandowski's dribbling, uh, dribbling stats on his normal card. So that looks like a solid card to be fair, but very nice for, for SBCs as well, being Syria and Brazilian. So there we do have it, boys. I want to quickly have a look just before we do it. Um... At this Allen. So there's two variants of him. I've had a brief look. I've not looked at his in game. Um, I've always loved Allen. The guy's apparently lost skill moves, uh, which is annoying. Uh, but the normal one I'm not interested in. I will definitely try and craft this guy. Even though it's hard to fit him in a team. Even if I play him off cam, I need this guy. So annoying that he's not force star, force star. What's he not got force? Oh, he's got three star weak foot. God oh, damn it. But this card, oh my days, man. Do I, I don't even need to read out the stats, boys. You guys can see it. You guys can see it, and he's got the solid player stat as well. I want to have a quick look at the requirements as well. 
Um, yes, okay. Wow, okay. If you don't do this guy, then... Uh, Jesus. You do need two Team of the Week. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for not doing Team of the Week. Because Team of the Weeks are so expensive and so rare, man. Um, so thank God they've allowed us to use a Team of the Season instead. Hopefully they do that for every Team of the Season. Uh, well, every SBC in the future. That's sick. Let me have a brief look at this. If you do this, you're probably, probably insane. Um, even if you're like a new account, I would not recommend doing this. 85 rate. Okay. That's very cheap, to be fair. Let's have a look at the 80. I want to have a brief look. Medium high, 5 foot 9. I mean, it's still a very solid card. I mean, if you're really tight for coins, then uh, maybe go for it. So, anyway, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you uh, have any questions, do let me know. If you guys could drop a like as well. And do let me know what you think of the objectives and uh, the Allen as well. Do let me know. So, anyway, boys, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.